just put the white right together. Have a nice trip and have a safe trip. Thanks very much. You too. Nice to meet you. Here's my camping beach and here's me on the wrong side of the highway for a few hundred meters until I can cross over to Wadi Shab. Oh, imagine how beautiful this must have been before this big highway flyover. Salam alaikum. Saeed, I'm a Saeed. Kaifak. behind on the other side of the river and I'm about to have to leave behind one wallet and one passport as I swim up the wadi. How exciting! My guess is they're not expecting any flooding rains if there's vegetables growing in plots along the bottom of the wadi but you never can be sure. So from here, the path ends and you swim the rest of the way, 10 or 15 minutes to a waterfall in a cave, I think. That was tremendous. I've never wanted a GoPro more in my life. You have to um, swim and then wade and then swim and then wade and then swim and then you come to a cave entrance, which is barely wider than your head, two or three meters. And I was very brave and I went through and then that was actually just a warm up because then once you get into the cave with the waterfall, there's another little passageway that's also two, three meters, barely wider than your head. But at the end, this time it's really, really low. And at the end, it's so low that you have to just bob your head underneath, which I don't, I don't like doing. Uh, but I did it. I feel super brave. And this is one of the loveliest places on earth. It's a bit unfortunate that it's the weekend because it's absolutely rammed in there now. I've passed dozens of people on the way in. But by good fortune, more luck than anything else, I camped right at the entrance. So I was able to get in pretty early so I could enjoy it in relative peace.
geometry. It's very curious. Lots of unmarked upright stones. Just two kilometers away, so on the opposite side of these rocks from Wadi Shab, is Wadi Tiwi, but this one has a road up it for a couple of kilometers. is also known in Arabic as Wadi of the Nine Villages but I'm not going to get that far up I'll go as far as the dirt road allows it's enough hiking for today yep that's enough back to the road felt like WA yesterday but this doesn't feel like anywhere I've ever been on earth. Wow! When you're scabbing through hotel Wi-Fi, one of the privileges of travelling by bicycle is not only do they invite you inside to the air conditioning but they also bring you a plate of caramel and melon. You mean you don't get this traveling in a tour bus? Oh my god, they brought me lunch. Next time somebody asks me why I travel by bicycle, <laughs> it's for the free lunch. I noticed my back tyre seems to have lost a bit of air since I filled it up four or five days ago in Muscat, and the temperature has dropped quite a bit, but. How much of a difference does that really make? Anyway, instead of enjoying the lovely view, I'm just watching my back tyre. Time will tell. Oh, <laughs> crikey. last one there's a car by it but the family are barbecuing down here and they say they're not using it so yeah last beach hut on the beach happy days as for the tire 20 kilometers later it seems all right i guess i'll know for sure in the morning the tent is up the town is looking gorgeous in the sunset and my neighbours have brought me Karak chai. How lucky am I? This is truly the luckiest day. My neighbours have just brought me dinner. Mm, smells amazing. 